Alright guys, just a quick update. If you remember, this is the 75. It had the Carpentis and the Silver Dollars in it. Well, it worked out for like two weeks by adding the uh, Silver Dollars in there. But all of a sudden, as a clear blue, the bigger one beat the crap out of the little Carpentis and I've had it. I tried everything, nothing works. So, I took them out. I gave them back to my local fish store. And uh, also the silver dollars, for some reason, ever since I got them, they would re be real skittish. You'd enter the room, they would slam all into the glass, and panic, and just go crazy. And when it was feeding time, you had to sneak up to the tank, and even though you did that, you open the lid, they still get spooked, and they would swim into the glass and almost hurt themselves. So I said, that's it. I brought them back to the guy I got them from as well. So this tank's empty. And the funniest thing, the guy told me that they were wild caught. And that's probably why they were real skittish. Because I told them the blackberries are the exact opposite. They're not skittish at all. And he said that's because they're captive raised. Or bred rather. So, I don't know, I guess it's better to get the captive bred ones. I noticed that too with... uh red belly piranhas the wild caught are supposed to be more aggressive and uh they are but they're real skittish just like these silver dollars and all the other red bellies i ever had weren't like that don't get me wrong they were still skittish but nothing like that they were like deathly afraid of you so this tank's empty i don't know what i'm gonna put in there i'd like to put something medium size but i'm not sure if you guys have any suggestions let me know and here's the other thing if you remember i put my creepy piranha in the 125 and i don't think it was a good idea the first three days he ate normal ain't normal and he hasn't been eaten since which is abnormal and he just don't look comfortable in here the other thing is, even in the 75, when I would do a water change, the water gets low, he gets real nervous and panics. I guess it's like in the dry season, when the water dries up, they get scared. And uh, in this tank, it's much worse, because it's got more lentils. He actually swam in a panic from the left side all the way to the right at full speed and hit into the side of the glass and got a little dazed you can see look at his lip oh he, he uh, turned in the right way if you look at his lip he's got a big lump on it now let's see come on show your lip see it that's from hitting at full speed into the glass so it's not such a good idea, I would think, to have them in a bigger tank. Everyone says, oh, a bigger tank's better. I disagree. So I may put him back in the 75. This way he doesn't have a lot of room in there to, like, pick up speed and hurt himself. So I may put fish in here instead. And the only other tank that's doing real good, I have all these aggressive fish in that other tank and they're giving me problems, is this tank. No problems at all. No aggressiveness. Perfect. I haven't had any problems with it. But I may put another fish in there. Maybe one more. I don't know. Obviously it'll have to be a peaceful fish. I'm thinking maybe a nice angel fish. And then that's it for this tank. But it's really doing good. So this one's going to stay the way it is. And I put that other female Carpentis that got beat up from the bigger one in the 40-gallon. Uh, oh, I, I, I think I forgot to mention it, too. I actually moved the black belt cichlid and gave it to my local fish store, too. Because I tried putting them in the 75 before I put the Carpentis in it. And he was in there for two days. <sighs> He moved the rocks all over the place, like 8-inch high piles, left, right, back and forth. He just kept moving them all day long. But the worst part about it is my 75 is like mint. It's brand new looking. He scratched it all up. 
it would go up to the front of the glass, you know, when a fish goes and chases your finger and they try biting at you at the front of the glass. Well, he does that all the time, even though you're not in front of the glass. And he shakes his head and you hear a screech sound when he's doing it. And I'm thinking nothing of it till I went just like a few days ago and looked at the front of the tank after I took him out. He scratched it off. There must be like 20 scratches on the front of the tank. I mean, they're not deep scratches. They're light, but if you look close, you see them all. It's crazy. So I said to myself, that's it. I have them in a little 40-gallon breeder. It's really too small for them. You really can't keep fishing with them because he's so aggressive. He kills everything you put in there. So I said it's not fair to keep them in that tank. So hey, it was a hard decision. He's a beautiful fish, good personality. But you know what? Let's give them to somebody who has a bigger tank and, and the fish will have a better life. So I gave them to the local fish store too. So I have my female Carpentis right now healing. She's all bit up and shredded basically in his tank. It's the 40 gallon breeder. So that's what's going on here. I'm switching everything around. It's driving you nuts. But more than likely what I'm going to have to do, I may put the Piranha, like I said, back in the 75. I think that's the better thing to do. I'll probably have to put fish in here. I just don't know what kind yet. But, like I said, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Preferably, I'd rather get something that's kind of peaceful. Maybe a community tank. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to wait and see. But that's what's going on. Sometimes these fish drive you nuts. <laughs> you like them and all, but sometimes, I don't know. I never had ones like the Carpentis. You can't even keep a pair together without them shredding each other. It's crazy. I never had that before happen. So, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to try something different. And this is the female Carpentis that got all beat up. I don't know if you can see. She's missing some scales on the side. He's light in color, like faded. Fins are shredded. I put her in this 40 gallon. This is where the uh, black belt used to be. Overkill with the big 500 aqua clear on the back, but <laughs> at least it'll be clean. But I'll keep her in here for a while. Maybe I'll just keep her separated. They are pretty fish, so I hate to get rid of her, but we'll see. But that's the update, guys. Just sucks when you gotta move all your fish around because they're aggressive and killing each other. It's just a contraction dump. But just wanted to update you guys, like I said. And I appreciate everybody watching all the time. And. That's it for the update. Oh, man.